donuts. We all love them. But who makes the best? Today, we find out. It's a circle, not a square. Actually, there's some donuts that are squares. <laughs> I don't know about the donuts. So that's why you're here. What up, internet? Today, I'm meeting up with my friend Ricardo, who is a donut fanatic, to taste test all of the best donuts of Orlando, to rank them the best to worst. I am definitely a sweet tooth person. He knows the way. First stop, Donut King in Winter Park. I'm at Donut King, woo! I've got my camera, and you've got a camera. It's popular. This is like the hometown spot. Let's get in there. It does smell sweet in here. I can feel the sugar invading my bloodstream right now. It should be the donut club for this video. Wow, look at how many options they have. This is a legendary Orlando donut shop. The people love it and they do good stuff here. Whatever sprinkles your donuts, they got all these awards. I would say Donut King is probably the most affordable donut shop in Central Florida. This is like the Simpsons donut, but <laughs> twisted. Whoa, that's a big Beautiful. one. The secret to their donuts is sugar. They have glaze and chocolate and cinnamon roll and all kinds of different variations of that. What the hell is this porcupine donut? This is called the spider donut. And this one is called the poop emoji. What's your favorite donut? The blueberry cake. There's a lot of options. How do you even decide? So we're gonna try one, maybe two donuts. That's it. Okay, so yeah. I think what we need to do is get one big one and then maybe try a couple of the smaller ones. He calling me the donut queen at the end of all of this. And a chocolate cake and a blueberry cake, of course, because we have to try your favorite. Cheaper than a drink at a bar in Orlando. And I think I just fed myself for the rest of the week. Do you make all your donuts here? Every day. We also do like universal. It is the Simpson donut, Ricardo. It is. Thank you so much. Whoa. Bum, 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 bum. I've been feeling fine, baby. Whoa, that big donut's giving me everything I need right now. But let's try the little ones first. This is the blueberry cake donut. It tastes like a delicious glazed blueberry muffin. Everything about this is good. Love, love, love it. Chocolate cake. It's like a basic chocolate glaze. This is the better version of Dunkin' Donuts. This blueberry one is raining over the chocolate just because it's so special. It's a vanilla donut with chocolate frosting and fresh coconut. One bite for the health of it. The texture is nice. The chocolate frosting is good. Still going for blueberry. This is extra. It's actually a little bit terrifying. Do we eat the face first? Or it's like, no, you're terrible. Like, what would be the weirdest part to eat first? Face. <laughs> I can't even fit my mouth there. I have to do this. <laughs> I'm already sugar high. It's the headless donut man. <laughs> this is a good donut. Last but not least, the big ass baby. Is this too big? This is definitely a Springfield donut, but it's more fresh because it hasn't been sitting in a box waiting to be sold at the park. Don't buy them at Universal, guys. You're getting ripped off. We don't need to go anywhere else. It's delicious. It's the first one we tried. Obviously, I have to rank it number one. Wow, now he's armless and headless. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. I've known Ricardo since I've moved to Orlando. He also hosts this really cool show in Orlando called Nerd Night that you can check out and I'll put a link to it in the description. Favorite donut that you tried here? Eating the f out of that little guy was pretty awesome. Where are we going next? Valkyrie, great place. Uh, donuts, I am already full. Valkyrie Donuts, and they actually spell it with a D-O-U-G-H. Which is the original spelling. Did you know that donut holes were actually initially created from the center of the donut? Is that can't be true. I thought the reason why they have a hole is because when you cook the dough, it cooks even. Kind of making up facts over here. Who's right? Dun 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 dun! It's me. Another donut shop, Valkyrie. It's a really cool word from Norse mythology. They have another location called Valhalla Bakery. Very famous, actually. I haven't been to Valkyrie Donuts, but I have been to Valhalla. Valhalla is where they go when they die. It's like a, like a Norse heaven. I assume that they're actually Nordic individuals. Right after you. And they have buttons. And they have merch. These donuts are cute. They're big, they look dense, they look fluffy. The great thing about Valkyrie that makes them stand out is they have a lot of non-dairy options. It's more of like sprinkle heaven. It's very much the presentation. I like their decor in here though. It's so cute. Choco lit. It looks good. Well, what's your favorite donut? Our donut calls nuts. Churro donut is my favorite. I can have one now? I thought you were just showing it. And it tastes like a cinnamon sugary goodness. The base glaze. I like them both, but I definitely like this one a little bit better. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. My favorite is just the basic glaze. I don't know, there's something about it, it's just perfect. 
Let's pick taco lit, and we'll do an Orlando cream and pick, pick a wild one. potato chip. Typically, the chocolate frosting, potato chips, and um, caramel dripping. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Thank you. Wait, really? It makes total sense. Let's see. Mm, actually really freaking good. The chocolate with the potato chip is a good vibe. It's not all falling apart, it's not super messy. This just looks beautiful. Mm, I like a cream center. Squish. This really delicious, a little bit more dense than what I really liked out of that Donut King flavor. I love the options here. I love how beautiful they are. But that classic Donut King. There's something very familiar about Donut King. Glazed Donut, the basic one compared to the one here, I just like a little bit more. Only like a touch, but for that reason, Donut King is above Valkyrie. It doesn't make it bad. I still love Valkyrie. And we still have donuts. And I'm still gonna eat that chocolate. You want it now or later? Now. It's so dense and bubbly. Very filling. We have three more spots. Don't worry, I'll make one. Over to the salty donut. Come on, internet. We're getting more donuts. We don't ever stop. The salty donut is a fancy get. Are we dressed up enough? My French fry hoodie, of course I am. Get it at uh, shophealthyjunkfood.com. It's gorgeous. Like you. I love the sweet smell of sugar. Something very classy. Even the way they package the item. It feels like the salty donut is something you would eat with a knife and a fork. You obviously make all the donuts here, I can see. <laughs> what up, dude? <laughs> What's your favorite? My favorite is the brown butter and salt, which is not a brioche donut. It's a cake donut. But then my favorite brioche donut would be the guava and cheese and the cinnamon pear crumble. Is there one that you'd want to try? I thought she'd never ask. <laughs> Let's see. I really want to try the pumpkin spice. Let's go. I'm filming you filming me. This is the brioche one I assume coming in a box and the regular donut coming in a bag. Eat me as soon as possible. How do you open a box? I love cardboard. Look, again, decorated really beautifully. It's delicate and like pretty. She's gorgeous. Whoa, that brioche, delectable. <laughs> I have to show you the opposite side of this here. It's got like a sugary saltiness on the bottom. It gives it such a good texture. I'm actually infatuated by this. I love you, I'm coming back for you, baby. Now this one is the favorite of our wonderful lady that checked us out. The glaze on there is super like dense. It's not so sticky, which I like because some donuts can be like really messy. A cake donut. More dense, the flavor is really good. This is definitely not my favorite out of the two I've had though, because that brioche cake is freaking fire. I bet any donut here, they're gonna be at the top of your list. So the salty, you're going number one. I'm sorry, Donut King. Ricardo, you gotta taste this. You gotta let me know if you agree. Um, wow, this is really great. I love it. The number one for you too? You know, I love salty. I have been here before, but it's not my number one, I'm sorry. But this is, it's a good donut. Wait, are you ever going to tell us your number one? You're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> so where are we going next? Smoke and donuts. And these guys are awesome. I like the idea of having a donut with barbecue. Smoke and donuts. Voted top barbecue of Orlando. What? I thought we were here for donuts. It's a location that is brick and mortar, but they have little food trucks as well. Oh, it smells like good barbecue in here. They have a lot of different types of donuts. What's your favorite? The blonde blueberries. Oh, blueberry is so popular. Oh, that does look good. And you make all these here too, right? Once again, it's really hard to decide what to eat. Okay, let's go basic and then go crazy. I got this. Whoa. She's massive. The blondie on top. Looks like some type of blueberry jam. How do you eat this with a topping like that? You gotta get it all in one bite, right? Okay. It's so buoyant. I love the jam. This is a top-notch donut. This donut actually doesn't even taste like a donut. It's like my birthday. Put a candle on this. I don't need cake anymore. It's a very simple donut, but it's all about the toppings. Mm. The trick to a good donut is you have to make it fresh every single day. And you can tell in the bite that this is fresh. All I need to do is smoke something and then it's even better donuts. Oh my God. I love it. You're not full yet? <laughs> okay, good. You're funny. You're so funny. You're so cute. Are you full? There's one more spa, Ricardo. I definitely want to come back here for these sandwiches though and like the barbecue food. Right now I have the salty on top. 
Smoking Donuts was really good, but just because Johnny Donut was so bomb diggity, the salty Donut King, Smoking Donuts, and on the bottom, Valkyrie, not because it's bad, there's something about that brioche donut, it just hits my home. So we do have one more location that we're going to today. Before we do that, we do have some honorable mentions of donut shops in Orlando that you absolutely should check out that just didn't end up on this list, but not to discredit them at all. We've got Patty Lou's, Voodoo, Shaka, and of course, the legendary Winter Park location of Krispy Kreme. Don't forget the glass knife. And Dona Envy. There was one lady we ran into along the way that said there's a place called BG and Winter Garden. Yes, there's a lot of winter places in Orlando. It's like they're trying to bring in the cold weather. So we are at our last spot. It's actually at East End Market, which I've been a few times before. They had an incredible cheese shop called M Fromage. And I actually did a collaboration and we made a charcuterie board that was like bigger and longer and more giant than ever. <laughs> like, can you move in with me at my house? Let's go get the last donut. This is it, right here in the front. Awesome. Dochi. We'll take one of each. Do you make them with mochi? So the rice flour makes it mochi like. Mm -hmm. They're so colorful and cute. Chia dochi is what we call our mochi donuts. It's a cross between a Japanese rice cake, aka mochi, and a classic American deep fried donut. Right Your logo is so cute and all this is so cute. I feel like these are so cute, I almost don't want to eat them. Beautiful gifts. I don't want to be judgy because I feel like this is going to be so different in flavor that it might not rank high. It definitely already ranks high in just being like a, a different delectable. Beautiful. So now we're not looking at a circle or a square, we're looking at a series of circles. It it makes it easier to decide how much to eat at one point because each circle is a bite, right? Maybe. Let's try it. Yummy, sweet. But I do feel like it's hard to judge on the ube and actually taste the rice flour. So try the cinnamon crunch. Oh man, it's my favorite cereal too. I love that I can eat a circle off of this. It's a good donut. I really like how it's not super unhealthy tasting. Like I could eat a bunch of these donuts and not feel regret. My mind's blown. It's decadent. They got so many options. They even ran out of some of the best options. Why? Because they're that popular. Guys, I'm stunned to say it. I have to put this number one. It's going on top. That pumpkin spice was ridiculous, but the basic cake one, I just couldn't wrap my mouth around it the same. Mochi donuts is the way to go. Thank you, Orlando. Let's see what he thinks if I'm right. I hope he says I'm right. All right, here we go. This is, this is something. I'll be honest with you, it's not better than Donut King, but it's so good. Look at all these happy people coming out of Dochi with their donut boxes and their drinks. This is good, this is really good. There you have it guys, another day, another donut. We tried so many donuts and we definitely found my favorite and you discovered or rediscovered some. But Donut King is your king. Donut King is my king, I love Donut King. And Dochi is my queen. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this. And until then, stay hungry. Um. <laughs>